Greetings everybody and welcome back to Purdue as it should be. I trust you're excited, but you can't be more glad than we are, as the biggest freshman class ever arrives to produce the biggest student body ever. 2020 was, as people used to put it, a major downer, but it was great in one respect. That was the way the entire Purdue community teamed up to open and maintain the most open in-person campus our size anywhere. This was a substantial collective achievement, but it was led by our students and the maturity they showed from start to finish. Now, we have to count on you again. After months of near normalcy, we've all been tempted to believe that COVID-19 is behind us. But as much as we might wish it, we now know this problem is not over. Cases are up almost everywhere, as the virus is doing what viruses do. Reluctantly, like thousands of other schools and businesses, we've decided to start school asking everyone to wear a mask indoors. We hope this will be temporary, but there's no way to tell right now. We are a highly unusual environment where more than a thousand times a day, dozens or even hundreds of people come together in close spaces. Most may be personally at small risk from the virus, but there are many whose age or medical status makes them vulnerable. There's another uniqueness. One of the hallmarks of last year's success was that we experienced zero transmissions of illness in any classroom, and that was even more important than it may sound at first. We became pretty good at tracing illness contracted in most places and limiting its spread by temporarily isolating those who had been in close contact. But we had, and have, no effective way to do that if the virus ever begins to spread in our instructional spaces where close contacts change every day. For that reason, we're almost certain to ask everyone to wear a mask in class or lab, even if at some point we're able to relax the general masking rule. Here at Purdue, we believe, and I hope foster, personal responsibility. As you know, unlike many schools, we strongly encourage vaccination, but we left the decision up to you. We continue to believe vaccination is the best choice, both for you and for Purdue. Those vaccinated are far less likely to contract the disease, far less likely to spread it if they do, and far less likely to have a severe case. We'll continue to encourage vaccination and to provide the vaccine to those making that choice. Your personal health decisions are yours to make, and therefore so is responsibility for the consequences, such as the need to quarantine until recovery, missing classes and other activities while you do. But there's one responsibility we all share. That is to pitch in to keep Purdue open so that your education and everyone else's continues uninterrupted. So if you decide against vaccination, we've provided the choice of being tested regularly, the same process the entire campus cooperated in all last year. Please take it seriously. I assure you, we do. We have every reason to expect a great year, but that depends on how we all handle ourselves and whether we show the same spirit of community that got us through 2020. Like last year, I'm betting on us. Welcome back, Boiler Up.